Warlords of Atlantis, 1978, directed by Kevin Connor, starring Doug McClure, Peter Gilmore, and Leia Brody. A crew on an ocean expedition are taken via giant octopus to the lost city of Atlantis, where stuff happens and things occur. I'm a simple guy, really. If your movie trailer features a guy punching a dinosaur, I want in. These 70s flicks followed a very specific set of attributes. H.G. Wells or Jules Verne influenced, 1800 setting, travel to an ancient world through unconventional means, buxom beauty, multiple set pieces with ancient beasts, evil group of people ruling over the rest, and Doug McClure punching people. This one's aquatic themed though. This is an earlier film for a young John Ratzenberger, who plays one of the mutinous crew members. There's also a cat who absolutely does not want to be in this film. Unlike other 70s films of this type, the script was penned by Brian Hales and was an original idea instead of a loose novel adaptation. Hales worked on Doctor Who in the 60s and 70s, his most significant contribution to the series being the Ice Warriors. The biggest flaw of this story is the lack of a satisfactory resolution. The evil threat is revealed and the protagonists just leave. I was also disappointed by how sluggish this film ended up being, especially given how entertaining Connor's previous films with McClure were, including The Land That Time Forgot and The Nightmarish at the Earth's Core. There's some fairly impressive creature effects in this film though, which is no surprise. Roger Dickens' body of work includes 2001 A Space Odyssey and Alien. Specifically impressive are the size of the creature effects portrayed on screen, including the giant octopus and the formidable Zargs. Verdict? Meh. You can honestly do better, but it isn't unwatchable. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.